Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I want to go over a simple rain catchment. Water is one of the most important things you're going to need in a survival situation or a disaster. And it's just nice to have the ability to collect a lot of rainwater uh, for watering the garden, um, for other needs around the house. Uh, you can do a lot with this water. And I'm collecting the water off my roof. And the first thing you're going to need is a gutter system. My gutters uh, have no leaf guards on the top of them. So first thing, gutter. Next you'll need some type of downspout. And this is just your typical downspout. And it comes down into that leaf guard. And this is what the leaf guard is. Basically, uh, the water hits here, goes through, and the leaves and the mosquitoes uh, can't get through so this is very handy you can clean it off just take your hand and brush off the stuff uh, but this is your first uh, way of getting things out if you don't have actual leaf guards on your gutters which I do not so this helps a lot so basically the water comes down and then it's going to come down this pipe right here and what happens is it comes down and it fills that pipe up and as it fills that pipe up it's called the first flush You can buy these online, lots of places sell them, Amazon. It's just a first flush, and there might be different companies out there. It's just basically a downspout water diverter. So, this is made for a four inch. I think they also make a three inch. And you basically get a kit with it, everything you need except your four inch PVC pipe that you'll have to supply. So, the water comes down, fills this pipe up. The size of this pipe, the length of it, is determined how much water you want to first flush off your roof. So as this fills up, there in the bottom here is a weep hole. You probably can't see that. With a little washer that has a hole in it, and that will weep water out. This is the ball, similar to the one that's in here. This came out of my other system to show you. And basically, when the water gets in this pipe, the ball is going to float to the surface and when it gets to here it will stop because there's a, like a cone piece in here that's provided with a kit and it seals it off so then the water is diverted to that pipe right there it goes in that four inch pipe keeps coming and what I did was I transitioned over to two inch uh, this piece is available at any hardware store Lowe's or Home Depot a piece of two inch what I did was I put in a bulkhead fitting. They're pretty easy to put in. Um, basically, you'll drill it out, and if you get a hole saw, that works the best. I did not glue this here. Um, that way I can separate this unit. I'm not having any problems with it. Um, I got a couple drops sometimes when it's really raining right here, um, but no issue at all. Now I can separate this tank from the system, which is very important. The bulkhead fitting. You can buy it at most uh, good plumbing stores, hardware stores, but basically that's all it is. And there's a washer in it, and you put that in and screw the nut on, and that creates a watertight seal. And then from there, you can just screw in whatever you want to screw in and come out with your 2-inch PVC. So that bulkhead fitting is nice, because if I didn't have that bulkhead fitting, I would have to get the water into this tank somehow. So... I could always drop it in the top, but I don't want that. I want to be able to take this top off. And if this was all connected and going into here, I can't undo the top just like this and remove it and look at my water. I'm going to remove the strainer. And what you have in there is some PVC. Because I've done some major changes with this system. Uh, I got everything finalized. Um, so I have an overflow in here the overflow is right there as you can see now I need to cut this overflow down a few inches but I'm trying to be greedy and get as much water because I need to I want to get it lower than the inlet so I'm gonna cut off about two and a half inches uh, to lower it to the overflow overflow um, as you can see when it water's coming in it's constantly going out when it's raining and the thing is full and that's what you want so it's always refreshing this water so I'm gonna modify that so basically when it full fills up it overflows into this pipe which comes out the other bulkhead fitting on the bottom 
and that takes it away from my tank. Now I made a mistake, I shouldn't have done this different. I should have put this right there in the concrete so you wouldn't see it and I could have stubbed it out right there because I just poured this for this purpose. So that was a, a mistake on my part. So if you're gonna do it and pour concrete, see what you can put underground uh, or in the concrete. Uh, that would have looked a lot better and been out of the way. And basically on the front, I just have a standard hose bib to get the water out. And now I can use this for a lot of purposes. So basically, you have a few components here. You definitely have a gutter, some downspout. To do it right, you want to put a leaf guard, which is right there. And then a first flush, which is this system right here. Um, the first flush was about 30 bucks. Uh, the leaf guard was, I think, less than 30, 25 maybe. So yes, you're gonna spend a little bit of money, then you're gonna have to buy some piping. Uh, but for less than $100, you can do all of this. I think it's well worth the $100 to have a system that you don't have to worry about. The reason there's a weep hole in here is for freezing. If you didn't have this and this froze, it would definitely break your pipe. But now, it's slowly going to leak out. You do need to check this. Sometimes this gets clogged up over a, a long time. Uh, and if it doesn't weep out and you get cold weather, you can break the system. So this is the basic components. Um, my next step that I'll be showing you is connecting a pump to this. Uh, from there, you could connect a, a Dalton filter and a pre-filter, and you could actually plumb this right into my house, which I probably will do. So this would be my backup backup water source uh, with a 12-volt pump powered by a little solar. I could still have um, pressurized water in the house that is safe to drink. Thanks for watching.